it, ne it never changes the mindset. As far as I'm concerned, standards are standards. So I always have standards in my room, regardless of who's there, who's not. And so, like I said, you know, they handle that negotiation and contract stuff. But, you know, what I've seen from before, I like about him. And so well, nothing but good things. And so... I'm, I'll be happy to work with him. How about a young guy, Michael Gallup, that has gotten better, you know, in his first two years? Is it that's another young player that's good, to, coachable, and somebody you can mold as well? Yes, he's, I remember him coming out and uh, just liking the talent level and where he's at. But right now we're doing the the play evaluation stuff. So for us going through each individual guy, we're kind of getting into, you know, just going into that stuff right now. So we're just trying to get a feel. You know, I'm a type of coach, I like to put my eyes on them, get on the grass, things like that. So I, I never like to have preconceived notions. What excites you about working with this receiving court here in Dallas? Oh, it's a very young, talented uh, group. And so whenever you have change, change is good. And so my biggest thing is to be able to have a relationship with them and talk to them and understand like what do they know and what don't they know. And so each individual is totally different from each other. So I'm kind of systematic that way. So until I really get a chance to meet them and to talk to them, and which we can at this point, and really get them on the grass. And you know, that's when I formulate ideas and things of that nature. Now, obviously he's kind of in the same spot as Amari Cooper, but what have been your impressions of Randall Cobb and what he did in the fall and his team with Dallas? Uh, what I've seen from afar, he's uh, very productive, um, excited to be able to work with him. Uh, again, we're still in this evaluation process, so it's a lot of things. We just got here Tuesday, and so it's a lot of things going on, you know, just from an HR standpoint, just from everything else. But uh, from what I see thus far, it's been good. Adam, uh, at the Pro Bowl, Amari Cooper said he was interested in learning more about you, so he said, I'm going to talk to Odell and I'm going to talk to Jarvis. What do you think they told him? <laughs> Nothing but good things. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I have formed uh, great relationships with those guys since college. So um, it was bittersweet in, in leaving them, but, you know, it's change is good on to uh, a different story. And so I'm excited to be here, be in Dallas. So with this franchise and with Coach McCarthy, uh, I'm just excited to be here. Is there a way to be a taskmaster and a big brother and a teacher all in the same guy? Well, it just depends on, you know, what type of coach you are. I'm a coach's coach. I'm not a player's coach. So, you know, in the room we're going to formulate, you know, ideas and what we do. And so as a coach, it's my, you know, job to get guys to do things and do things right and precise. And, you know, but again, but I do have a level of connection with guys. And so, but expectations are expectations. Expand on that a little bit about not being a, a player's coach, more coach's coach, and just how, and how what that might sound like one thing, but really you're, you're saying more about the system and, and the, what the team is doing and not so much trying to cater to each player. Well, there's a term player's coach where guys feel comfortable. Guys going to always feel comfortable um, with coaches if they have a relationship with them. So, you know, it can be misconstrued like that guy's a coach's coach or this. So it's a term that I've, I've used the last couple of years of just being a coach's coach because in there, that's what we do. We do, we formulate systems or ideas and, you know, and my job is to get that down to the room, you know, and, and get those, those messages that Coach McCarthy, you know, passes on to me and just, just be that guy to, to do that. And so that's my biggest attribute is being a coach's coach. Uh, develop young men, uh, relationships, things of that nature. Um, you know, as far as playing days at McNeese State and coming back to coach at McNeese because they were kind of like, you know, you're a guy who learns the whole picture. You'd be a great coach, but never really thought of myself as being a coach. But I just want to thank uh, them for giving me the opportunity. You know, Coach Kiesler seen that in me when I played at McNeese. And so uh, to be able to go back there and start a coaching career in the first couple of years, I didn't know if that's what I really wanted to do, but, you know, formulating and, and getting receivers that I never really had receivers, coaching at a smaller school, you have to develop those guys. So I take pride in development and developing guys and being re receivers, being technicians, being route runners, things of that nature. When you were approached about this opportunity, just what were your first thoughts? Uh, I was, uh, at first, I'm, I'm kind of laid back in situations, and when they happen, they happen. But I was excited to get this opportunity uh, to come back home to Texas, you know, and be closer to my family. Um, and 
<laughs> when I had the opportunity, I was just like, wow. It was, it was something that was something I would really want to do. So when it happened, Coach McCarthy, and it worked out, I never realized I had so many Cowboy fans that were my family members. So, <laughs> so everybody's Cowboy fans now. So my teammates growing up, things of that nature, like you really don't know how big it is until it happens. So. <laughs>